When you are royalty, you tend to get most of the tank to yourself. King Louis, as he's been dubbed, is a 23-pound lobster caught in the Bay of Fundy off St. Martin's. For the last few days, his home has been the Alma Lobster Shop. But today, he was on the move. The Alma Lobster Shop received a lot of suggestions on what to do with the giant lobster. But this morning, a woman from Nova Scotia called wanting to buy King Louis. So the lobster was 23, 23 pounds at uh, $9.99 a pound, I think. So I paid $230. Katie Conklin's wish? To have him return to the sea. And that's what the owners of the Alma Lobster Shop did. I'm fine with that. Good, good for them. Um, this is kind of how we make our living, though. My husband's a lobster fisherman and uh, we sell his lobster and, and that's how we, we survive. With the king secured in his crate, the thankful two steamed out of port and Rodney McDonald did what comes unnaturally to a lobster fisherman, put lobster back in the water. And after a quick shout out to the woman who bought King Louis, his release. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> Everybody. We buy over a million pounds a year and this is to be the biggest and the first one we've ever released in this way. King Louis' fate was decided quickly. We really weren't sure yesterday. Like, we, uh, we had just got it, and you came down to see it. We really didn't even think about it. At 23 pounds, people in Alma estimate King Louis' age at 100 years old. And now that he's been returned to open water, who knows how long he'll continue to reign as the king of the bay. With good handling practices being kept um, in, in decent seawater, it has a high, high chance of survival. I just hope he carries his genes and he lives like a happy life for his second chance. And he will, as long as he's learned his lesson and stays away from lobster traps. Jonathan McGinnis, CTV News.